up everybody oh, welcome back and Merry Christmas so today uh, it's actually the day after Christmas I'm gonna be working on getting my truck ready for E85 we got new injectors we got some new wastegate springs I'm gonna lower the boost down a little bit on spring only on gate only uh, hopefully shooting around 11 psi that'll be my 92 octane just straight pump gas and then we'll be wiring in a flex fuel sensor setting the computer up for flex fuel once I get my tune dialed again on E85 with no water methanol, then we're going to tune it up for E85. And I'll probably be taking the water methanol injection off the truck and just keeping it simple, running E85 and 92 octane, and it'll blend with whatever ethanol contents in my fuel. Uh, I don't know if I need the water methanol if I'm going to be running E85, and I'd like to keep things as simple as possible. So we're going to make this switch, and I'll leave the water methanol installed. We'll see how things go. We'll see if my my intake air temps get up high or not. Uh, I have a decent intercooler, so maybe they won't. And I'm not running a ton of boost anyways. Um, and then if if we don't really need the water methanol, I'll pull it off and sell it or keep it for another project. So, Okay, so I'm going to be running my flex fuel sensor. It's adapted to 6AN. This is my return line size. So I'm going to have it on the return. That way it doesn't create any kind of restriction on the feed. It's going to be really close to the regulator, so I don't think I'll have any delays or any issues like that. So this is just the Continental Flex Fuel Sensor with a pigtail and then these adapters here to take it to 6AN. And then these are going to go on my uh, my hose. Got new wastegates springs here from Mamba. So these are the small reds. So this will drop my wastegate boost on spring only down about a one PSI to a PSI and a half, which isn't a big change, but should help. And then Snake Eater hooked me up with some injectors. They didn't hook me up. I bought them. I did get a discount, but these guys are awesome. So they come with injector data, which is awesome for the standalone. Plug it in. They sent me a pretty badass shirt. their new actually it's this design right here vulgar display of horsepower so that's on the front of the shirt so they sent me a shirt injectors air filter or uh, air freshener looks pretty wicked it's like conan the barbarian uh so i got my injectors in there so these are the injectors they're uh i think they call these the bosch style but snake eater performance 1500 cc with the EV6 adapter or connector. I really like the data they send you with, with these injectors. Uh, it makes it very simple for standalone ECU to plug in what you need um, for voltage offset and dead times. So pretty pumped about this. You get the data for each individual injector and then they mark each injector with a Sharpie for which one it was on this data. So then I can go into my ECU and I can see like maybe for cylinders, let's say uh, six and seven, typically run a little leaner and hotter on these engines. So if I wanna pick an injector that runs a little fatter, down here you get your flow rates. So these, are, these flow rates aren't quite 1500 cc's because this is only at 43 PSI and 13.8 volts. So there's a bunch of math involved in there to figure out what you're actually flowing. Uh, but I can pick a fatter injector and stick that in number, let's say, 7. And that should uh, maybe help balance things out a little bit. But I'm pretty stoked. All these are within, let's see, the flow rates are all within... Less than a percent. Yeah, 0.6%, plus or minus. Pretty damn good. All right, so it's raining now. Got the truck in the garage here. Show you guys what I did. So I cut the fuel return line. And I mounted, let me get a flashlight. These are so badass. It clicks onto your DeWalt power pack. It seems to last a really long time too. And then it has two brightness settings. Really cool light. Okay, 
So, right. Okay, that's the flex fuel sensor right there. Flex fuel sensor. I don't have the wiring harness on it yet. And so you can see where it goes in line. That's the return line, that AN line right there. And that snakes along. This is the heat wrap on it. There you go. There, look. So return line off the bottom of the regulator back to the tank. So that's going to run my ethanol or calculate the percentage. I was able to use those fittings. Worked out really well. I just took a little tiny piece of the hose out. Actually lengthened the hose a little bit and then put that in there. So I got the pigtail for it. I need to wire it into 12 volts, a ground, and then the signal wire goes back to DCU. And then the sensors part's done. And then all I need to do from there is pull my rails off, which when I built these, <clears throat> I made them so that they come off pretty easily. They use the factory mounts. You kind of see one there underneath that hose. And then there's two screws right there, Allen head, and I threaded the, the body of the fuel rail. So you just unscrew those screws, loosen the mounts, down here and the rail just pops right off. Super easy. So we're gonna swap out those injectors and wire up this flex fuel and we'll be ready to rock with some E85. Now to get the truck running on E85, I need to retune my 92 octane tune with the new injectors. Because they're gonna have, the computer will calculate it pretty well. I just dial it in a little bit, should be close. And then once I get it dialed in, then I'll drain the tank, fill it all the way up with E85 and then tune it on that tune, or on that fuel. So there's two separate fuel maps in the Mega Squirt. One is VE1, that's gonna be 92 octane. And the other one's VE3. And then once the ethanol percentage is calculated by the flex fuel, it'll blend the two, the sensor, it'll blend the two fuel maps together while adding uh, more ignition advance on the E85. So there's a whole separate timing table as well. Uh, so basically you, you set a curve on how you want it to adjust on its own and then you go from there. So it's pretty pretty awesome. I'll get into more of the tuning stuff once we get this up and running. But right now I need to install these injectors, finish wiring up the ethanol sensor, uh, and then we'll be ready to start working on our 92 octane tune. I'm gonna turn the water methanol off for this. Uh, I put new wastegate springs in the wastegates to drop the PSA down about to around 11 PSI. And that'll be 92 octane, 11 PSI. And then the computer will ramp and boost on the boost controller with ethanol percentage rising. It's gonna be the first start in E85. We're filling the truck up right now, uh, putting about 100 bucks worth in it, uh, 58 gallon tank, so we'll see how far that gets me. Got the computer with me. I'm gonna run it. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the computer. I'm expecting some pretty good gains here. So the truck's filling up right now. In my rear, 38 gallon tank. It's a really slow pump. Five bucks a gallon in Washington, which is about the same price as diesel uh, and a little bit more expensive than premium. So I modified my gauge display here to show ethanol percentage and fuel temp. The kid ripping in a Mustang. Uh, so that'll help. And then I, I changed some of this stuff over for E85 fuel correction. So the computer's gonna do its own deal with the sensor and all, and it'll correct the fueling. So basically for tuning, you're gonna go, uh, when you're on 92 octane, you run strictly off VE1. Uh, this is 92 octane table. And then on E85, you're running on VE3. And then what the flux fuel sensor will do is we'll blend it, you can set the curve, but it'll blend between the two maps based on ethanol percentage. And then there's also a fuel temp correction factor in there too. Uh, and then along with the, those two maps, you have new acceleration, acceleration enrichment settings, uh, startup settings, after start enrichment, uh, after start taper, all that stuff, along with boost control. So I am gonna set this up to where in, when I'm on 92 octane, it'll run uh, around 11, 12 pounds of boost. And then on, based on the percentage of methanol in the fuel, or I'm sorry, ethanol, uh, it'll ramp up the boost to, let's say, 18 PSI. 
Ignition is the same. Ignition table one is 92 octane. Ignition table three is E85. I'm adding about a degree or two up top and I'm adding about three degrees in the middle um, during peak torque where I had to take it out due to knock on 92 octane. So now I'm back to pretty close to stock timing and pulling one degree per PSI. So there should be a lot of power gained in the middle. Just started the truck. Ethanol percentage is coming up here. I want to get it closer to 60, so I might have to go inside and or I might have to put more fuel in it. Yeah, we're hitting about 48. So I, I'm gonna have to put more fuel in it. I only put 15 gallons in, so it's like she's topping out around 50%. E85 corrections at 125. We're a little lean, but it's fine. That usually happens right after startup, anyways, until I get some fresh air running into it. We're adding 5% fuel right now, but we're pretty close. So I'm gonna shut it down and get a little bit more gas in there. All right, so this is gonna be the actual first E85 start. Here we go. Keys on. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's see if we get that percentage up. There it goes. One at over 60, but we'll see. Uh, might not get there. Let's go for a drive and see where we can get. Holy shit, guys. It's like already flawless. I haven't even touched the tune. All I've done is 92 octane and then set the settings in the computer to auto-tune. do auto -tune. Or not auto-tune, but make its own corrections. So air fuel ratio is on the money. It's going 127% uh, correction at, where are we at? 51. 51% uh, ethanol. It is nearly freaking perfect. I am so pumped right now. This I haven't touched the tune at all and idle here at the red light. We're we're like one percent off of target. Alright guys, I'll make some videos in the daylight here, but we're up on the highway right now, just cruising. Uh air fuel ratio is pretty much dialed. EGO corrections within one percent. I mean this is this is badass. I'm so pumped about this guys. All I I swapped injectors, fuel pumps set the tune up and just went. It didn't even have to make any changes. I, I really love this Mega Squirt ECU. It, it's just it's just so convenient and nice. I highly recommend this thing. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, all right, so this video is going on way too long here. It's been weeks since I started it, but I'm heading to the gas station right now to get some more E85 to bump up the content. Right now it's showing on the screen about 55%. I want to get up above 60. The truck is running amazing, better than it ever has. The response is better, the starting is better. Like this thing loves E85. I've been able to put about four more degrees of timing in it and it is just ripping. It feels like it's making more power 12 pounds of boost than it was at 16 with the 85 so I am absolutely pumped about this uh, and with a flex fuel sensor even if I have a mixture of pump gas in there if I'm gonna go on long drive and I want to save some money or there's not pump gas or E85 available I could just put regular premium in it and the computer will do its own thing it'll blend it on its own it'll adjust the boost curve I have it putting more boost in uh, well once I get everything completely dialed on the fuel map I'm gonna have it add more boost with E85 as well. So yeah, pretty stoked guys. Uh, so just head to the gas station, run some errands and stuff, and I'll try to get a couple good pulls in here to show you guys. So 
much better. The roads are dry right now, so it's just ripping. did that rip up the hill there uh, spun sideways going about 50 which was pretty rad so we're at 61% ethanol still don't have it uh, there's still some gasoline in there I haven't got a complete good mixture full tank yet but oil pressure is good 66 65 psi here at 2,000 rpm just putting down the road going 27 mile an hour love this damn thing <laughs> 